In Afghanistan, leaders from across the country met in Kabul today for a general council meeting despite threats of insurgent attacks. The four-day Loya Jirga began under tight security. President Hamid Karzai called for the Assembly of Elders to discuss the future of U.S. troops in the country, including permanent bases. Although some Afghan leaders questioned the credibility of the gathering and a few planned to boycott it, others welcomed Karzai's insistence that controversial U.S. night raids, which have killed many civilians, need to end. To find out more about the discussion and the politics of the meeting, FSRN's Bilal Jawad spoke to the leader of the Afghan Liberal Party, Ajmal Suhel. Uh, dear Ajmal Suhel, the leader of uh, the Liberal Party of Afghanistan, first thank you very much for giving the time to FSRN. My first question is, as uh, you heard Hamid Karzai's inaugural speech today in the Luya Jirga, what were the most important points in his speech? Uh, regarding the uh, strategic relation with the United States that he, he discussed. Uh, he once, he, he said that Afghanistan has a broad-based relation with the uh, several countries around the globe, especially with the neighboring countries. Uh, in spite of the, the uh, there are some oppositions, or, uh, in spite of uh, the, the, the relation that some of the countries do not have a good relation with, with the United States, but we have still. Uh, as I understand that, if we have a uh, relation with the uh, Iran, so uh, we should neglect uh, United States because uh, the national security and the national interest of Iran in the United States in the region they are contradicting. Uh, secondly, he said about the the the, the basis that. As, as far as I think that the Afghan sovereignty and, and Afghan national interest, uh, I mean, should be followed or should be uh, 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 respected in Afghanistan. He concerns the, the capitulation, uh, so it's okay, then the Afghan people, everybody wants it that uh, any American or any circle of American uh, do something wrong against the law of Afghanistan, he should be brought to the court of Afghanistan, not to the United States or elsewhere. Or if he think beyond that, so I, I think that if the United States want to establish their basis in Afghanistan, of course they have their special interest. So if they leave all the interest and only support a failed state government, it's impossible. Uh, thank you. You know better, presence of U.S. military in Afghanistan beyond 2014 is a sensitive issue, as you said, for neighboring countries like Iran, Pakistan, China, and even for Russia. So don't you think they will probably try to make obstacles against this possibility through their influence among the influentials who are now participated in this jirga? As far as I understand, these countries think that the United States is on the run. If we pressure today the Afghan government or some of the, the circles or groups in Afghanistan, it may make it possible uh, for their interest or to, to push or pull out the United States from Afghanistan. If the United States want to establish their s a stable position in Afghanistan, especially their long-term uh, military bases in Afghanistan, then Pakistan, Iran, Russia, all these countries, they, they will understand that uh, United States is ne uh, neither under run nor leave Afghanistan. For that reason, they will uh, rediscuss the issue, and I'm sure peace and stability will be back to Afghanistan. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, on the other hand, domestically, Taliban and other insurgents groups uh, inside Afghanistan are also against the presence of U.S. military. Uh, won't they try their best to create a lot of security problems for this jirga? They, they have called uh, several times that even they, they warned some of the, the participants that not to uh, participate or take part in the, in the law jirga whatsoever. But as far as uh, till uh, we we understand that uh, no a single incident has happened yet, uh, and we hope that in the in the upcoming uh, days there will, wouldn't be any any uh, something strange happen to the the uh, moving on of this jirga. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, again, as far as uh, the presence of U.S. Uh, troops in the form of U.S. permanent military bases are concerned. Uh, and, and you know, uh, the, there, there is a big confrontation uh, between the government of Afghanistan and parliament. Uh, and uh, today, uh, they say that the parliament has wide representation in this jirga. So what do you think? Will it get support from the jirga? 
As far as uh, some of the information shows, I mean, the behind scenes information shows that Iran, Pakistan, and maybe some other countries tried the most that they, they would have their own elements within the Jurga. The idea is to, uh, to block and, and to stop uh, 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 the maybe the that relation, I mean, the future or upcoming uh, Afghan security relation with the United States, it, 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 we cannot ignore it. But uh, as far as I understand that the president has said that we are ready to have that uh, basis in Afghanistan, but we have some conditions. Uh, maybe if the conditions are not so strong, especially uh, if the idea of the capitulation would be discussed, for sure that would be refused, and uh, uh, United States, United States will uh, will have uh, I mean, a huge refusal on that because even in Iraq they discussed that matter. In Iraq, they didn't vote for. Uh, it didn't help that position, and so that the United States said that we will withdraw from Iraq. Beyond that, if there would be a, a 50 50 position or the interest of both countries uh, I, I mean, paid highly att uh, attained or attention for, and I'm sure that the, the Jirga will support that. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my last question there are reports that the government will try to include some secret issues in the agenda as well. For instance, uh, the change in the governmental structure, I mean, the amendment in the Afghan constitution to create a prime minister position for Hamid Karzai when he will be leaving office as a president by uh, 2014. How do you look to this issue? Uh, president Karzai, him, he himself uh, never uh, uh, discussed that matter, but I am sure there would be some group or some circles or f factions within the uh, the lawyer jurga that they will also discuss that matter and uh, maybe by by chance and show to the entire world that it is it was by chance. Of course, um, President uh, he loves the the power, he loves to be a president, and he loves uh, to remain in power. So he will use every, uh, I mean, circumstance and every opportunity to stay in power. That was Afghan Liberal Party leader Ajmal Suhel speaking to FSRN's Bilal Jawad about this week's Loya Jirga taking place in Kabul. You're listening to FSRN.